Awesome. Not much. It's hard working. It's hard working. Disc golf is a sport that requires strength, flexibility, agility, and power. The throwing motion is a very explosive athletic move that places high demands on the body. Training in disc golf is often overlooked, but it essentially it helps you prepare your body to take your game to the next level. During the off-season months when I'm not playing tournaments, I dedicate time to training hard and getting ready for the next disc golf season. I've been involved in athletics for a majority of my life, playing various sports growing up. I even graduated from the University of Oregon with a degree in human physiology, athletic training, and physical education. I usually start with a light jog to warm the muscles up and prepare them for training. I also like to stretch the body out, lengthen the muscles, and get them ready for the workout. It's important that you never stretch cold muscles. Stretching also reduces the chance of pulling something or possibly injuring yourself while training. I try to focus on using lighter weights and higher repetitions when training for disc golf, as it's necessary to be flexible while still offering good range of motion. But also keep in mind that disc golf is not like one of those sports where you need to be big and strong to be a great player, because trust me, I wish that it was. Disc golf is more about core strength, flexibility, and speed, because when it comes down to it, too much bulk will cause a deficiency in accuracy and control. Because in this game, it's about power when you're throwing distance drives and about touch and accuracy in approaching and putting. The shoulders, upper back, and arms generate the most power for throwing distance shots. Of those, the shoulders are the most vulnerable if they're not properly conditioned. So you really need to concentrate and focus on strengthening and conditioning your shoulders. Legs and hips generate a lot of force while driving the lower body forward while still stabilizing the upper body. The legs and hips are responsible for generating the most power and torque during the throwing motion. It's very necessary to strengthen the lower body to help improve overall body strength. Good tonight. The core and lower back generate speed when throwing. They also allow for good flexibility throughout the body. The torso attaches the upper body and the lower body, providing a smooth rotation, but also good overall body stabilization.
the workouts and stretches that we previously mentioned, athletic training helps with focus, concentration, confidence, and most importantly, injury prevention throughout the season. Thanks to Sox Fitness Club for having us today, and the best of luck with your disc golf training. And go. The sport of disc golf, <clears throat> the throwing motion is a very explosive the throwing motion is a very explosive. <laughs> really? Good for power for driving. It's good to have good a touch. <laughs>